Hello, Gemini. Hope you guys are doing good. Happy holidays. This is a general reading for December 2021. Not all of these messages will resonate with you, Gemini. So take what does, leave what doesn't. And please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. So we got two cards here for you, Gemini. Gorilla, peace, and fierceness. <laughs> That's a dichotomy, isn't it? But we have four and five here, which breaks down to nine. So this is really interesting because this is all about being independent. Being, being at peace on your own, but also being able to defend yourself. So it's like a really great balance here. In interesting. Let's get into the tarot and see what we can get. Messages of light and love here for Gemini spirit. What do they need to know for their highest good and for the highest good of all? First card out, Two of Cups. We have a higher level of commitment here, a marriage perhaps. We'll, we will find out what's going on with that. What else, Spirit? Justice card, Libra energy here. The Fool. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. Okay, so you guys are, are have been moving towards new balance in your life. You have this Queen of Pentacles here who may have betrayed you, okay? Male or female, doesn't matter. This Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, either way, you're, you're very independent here, Gemini. You're really taking care of yourself at this time. Um, there's a lot of, of stability coming in here, but let's get some clarity here. You have a new beginning starting, something that you're moving past. You have good karma paying out to you here as well. Why is this Two of Cups here, Spirit, for Gemini? King of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacle energy in this partner you've been connecting with here. Nine of Cups. So this person that you've had in your life in the past, they may have been your marriage partner here. Two of Cups again. <laughs> so uh, that's just confirming what I just said. King of Pentacles. So this is this is a stable connection you had with somebody. You thought this person was forever. Um, but something has come into balance in your life. What is this about? Why is this justice card here, Spirit for Gemini? Page of Pentacles. So if you if you have kids with this person you've really worked on yourself and worked together look at that the justice card comes out to close that one out as well that's so interesting so if you guys have kids together um, or if you have a dog or a pet together or um, if there's just this need to stay together this person makes you very happy um, and I think that you guys are really working together for that for the benefit of the children if that is your story, that's not going to be for everyone, obviously. Um, but it's possible, too, that your person didn't really give a lot emotionally to the connection. Yeah, they provide, you know, security, financial security. They're very stable emotionally most of the time. I mean, we all have our moments where we get upset. Um, but it's like you're understanding that they're that the happiness is not going to come from this relationship. It's going to come from you, especially since if there were lies in this connection, somebody wasn't completely honest. Um, 
But there's this newfound stability coming in here. Tell me more about Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so a brand new start, a new gift, a brand new start, um, some kind of earthly gift here coming in. What is this about? King of Swords. So Gemini, I feel like this is you. There's some kind of gift coming towards you, either a, like a financial gift or a bonus, something like that. Could also be equipment for your job. I'm not sure why I just thought of that. Like some kind of investment towards your personal growth and success. Hmm. Some of you have a new beginning with a new individual here, a king of swords energy. Six of wands. So I think that you guys really are coming into this energy of stepping into your power. Um, and that's what this fierceness is about. Um, understanding that you can't change this person that you've been with. Um, you know, they can only give emotionally, um, you know, and especially if there's like lies in the connection, there's only so much that you're going to be able to do to make this person, like trust this person. I feel like you are really just needing to move forward. It's like you're putting it in the past. You just want to be happy. Things are coming into balance now. Um, karma is paying out. The sun is here. Like this is really happy energy for the holidays, which is amazing. Of course, we all want to see that this new stability here. And that's this Libra and energy here. And that's also this four of wands. It's like a, a union of souls here coming together. Um, and I'm drawn to this, this elephant where they have the little child here as well. There's like camaraderie with family coming forward as well. It's like you're just putting behind the lies and anything that, any kind of drama that has, has come up in the recent past here, you're kind of just setting it aside. And I think Spirit is rewarding you here with this Ace of Pentacles. Very cool. Let me get some of these. I'm not sure what these are called. <laughs> these are spirit animals. Yeah, these are the spirit animal oracles. I think that you're just, um, you're going to be cold to this person or at least like stand up for yourself if they try to come at you or anybody because tries to come at you, of course. But I think that you're really going to, this is like a test in your ability to stand up for yourself because I think that you're finding out about this betrayal here. Be generous of spirit, lion spirit number 37 and in that spirit a rebirth is assured yeah and that is what i'm seeing here with this new beginning with this full card as well there's new a new path generating here that's very rewarding because you have stood up for yourself here with your person um, maybe not being fully honest with you you're letting it go and moving forward in an independent way um you know, whether or not you guys are still married and living in the same household. It's like you're not letting this person's energy bother you, even though they may be living with you. OK, um, if you don't have kids, this has to do with just. Not not letting this person's bad behavior bring you down. And it's like you're getting some kind of reassurance, some kind of gift here. Um, that is showing you that you've, you've reached a new milestone. The path is moving forward here in a new direction. That is you standing up for yourself and not allowing. Yeah, it's just like you're defending yourself. Like, why would you lie to me? Let's just. And I don't think this person is going to be like try to be manipulative, whereas maybe in the past they were manipulative um, in their interaction with you. Here, like, I don't know. It feels like when you've called him out on things in the past, they've they've been defensive about it. But this time around, it, it seems like they are really starting to understand the 
their behavior. Okay. Very interesting. Things are coming into balance emotionally, um, financially as well, because you're you're moving past this uh, this drama that's happened here, very astutely, I must add. Okay, guys, um, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm sending you a big ol' holiday hug. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel, liking it, subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.